Welcome to the instruction video for the Warminster Library's Teen Take Home Craft. This video is a guide for creating your own folded book art. For this craft, you will be folding down specific pages of a book with specific measurements so that the end result is a decorative art project that displays your initials. If you reserved a kit from the library, most of the supplies are provided for you. If you did not, you can still follow along with this video, you'll just need to acquire your own supplies first. The supplies needed for this craft are as follows. One hardback, one hardback book that you don't mind folding the pages in, one ruler, letter templates, and a pencil. If using a book from home, it's recommended that you use a hardcover book as it will stand up on its own better than a paperback will. The first step of this project is to decide which letters you would like to use. If you would like, you can apply this project to any set of letters or words that you choose, not just your initials. But the longer you make the word, the more pages your book will need. This is why initials are a safe option, whether it's just your first name or your first and last name. Once you've decided on your letters, the next step is to figure out how many pages you will need. You can do this by referring to the measurements provided in the templates. Each vertical black line represents one piece of paper. The templates are broken up into tens so that it is easier to count. Add up the number of pages for each letter to get your total number of pages needed. As long as your book has at least that many pages, you can complete this craft. Keep in mind that when I say page in this case, I mean a piece of paper, not the page numbering. So for example, a 200 page book actually has 100 pieces of paper that are able to be folded. If you are a little short on pages, examine the letters that you choose and figure out where you can make the letter narrower by taking some pages at the beginning or end of the letter. For example, in the K, I could cut, easily cut off some of the first pages in the K. In addition, to use the measurements provided in this video, the book will need to be at least as tall as the templates. If your book is a smaller size, you will need to adjust your measurements. The next step is to divide up your book to determine which page you will begin folding. If you want your initials or word to be centered, then you will need to use the middle pages. For example, my initials, KG, require about 217 pages or pieces of paper. So I need to find the middle 217 pages of the book. To do this, count how many pages there are in the book in terms of page numbering, and then divide that in half to find the page with that number. This gets you to the middle of the book. In my example, the book had 425 pages. Divided in half, that's 212 pages. So I needed to open my book to page 212 to find the middle of the book. If your book has a lot of pages before or after the actual page numbering begins, you can add those to the total. From there, divide your total number of pages that you need for the project by two. If you have an odd number, you can either round up or down by one. I round it down to 216, which when divided in half is 108 pages. You then count that number of pages, so 108 for me, in each direction from the middle to give you the middle section of the book. When you count these pages, count each piece of paper as one page, not the page numbering. Once you have figured out which page is the first that will need to be folded, you can begin marking where you will be folding the pages. Make sure you measure from the top of the page each time to keep things consistent. Once all of the pages are marked, you can begin folding the pages. And so to start measuring the locations where you will need to fold, line up the template with the top of the page and mark the top and bottom of each letter. It will help if you fold or cut your template at each black line as you go. You could also use your ruler to either draw perpendicular lines from the template onto the page or to find the measurements of where each pencil mark should be. The latter method especially helps when you have big sections of the same measurements. For example, the beginning of my K, I had about 40 pages where the pages would need to be folded in the same place. So I measured out that each should be marked at 3 centimeters and 19 centimeters, then used my ruler to measure on the book instead of folding or cutting the template itself. There are several ways you could go about marking your pages, so try a few out and see which works best for you. The most important thing is that no matter how you do it, 
cross off the pages on your template as you go so you don't get lost. Once all of your pages have been marked, it's time to begin folding. For pages that only have two pencil marks, fold each corner in at a 90 degree angle into the middle of the book, as you can see on the, page, on the examples on this slide. You may want to use a rubber band to hold down the completed pages as you work. Some letters will have parts of the letter that have more than two places that you want to fold. In instances like this, you will want to alternate pages. So for parts of the letter that require four different folds, on one page, fold to the top two fold points, and then on the next fold to the bottom two fold points. Then on the third, go back to the top two fold points. When there are six places to fold, you'll need to alternate the top two, middle two, and bottom two. If you ever get confused on which parts of a page you should be folding, Keep in mind that the black lines on your template represent the part of the letter that are not folded in and are sticking out in order to form the letter. Continue folding pages until you reach the end. Once you do, set the book up and check to make sure that there are no pages that seem like they've been folded in the wrong place. If there are, you can refold that page. Once it's done, fan the pages out until your letters are visible. And then congratulations on completing this craft. Feel free to share a picture on social media of your book and where you're displaying it, and then tag the library. And if you enjoyed this book craft, why not try our previous folded book art craft where you make a heart by folding down the pages of a book.